okay, in this video, I want to explain to you, right, how do you scale to 100K plus 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 uh, to the big number months that you actually want to get to in e-commerce, okay? So e-com, right, um, I don't know about you, I feel like um, I'm always constantly in the environment, right? There are 17, 18 year old millionaires, right? everybody is like, wow, you know? But the, the truth of the matter is, it's not, not everybody's like that, okay? Not everybody, sorry to say, it's not everybody is deserving to have a business that generates like three to 500K per month, okay? It's simply not that, okay? And so le let me explain to you like the few things that you need to get right uh, for you to actually um, be able to hit those very, very big number months, like four or 500K uh, per month sort of thing. Okay, there, there's a very, very big difference between people doing like 60, 80K per month, which is like a million dollars per year, basically, and the people doing like three, 400K uh, per month consistently as well. Okay, there's no just like some random spike up and then just everything goes on. Okay, so I'm gonna explain to you these things. And once you understand these uh, three principles, right, uh, you should be very, very easily uh, be able to scale to those numbers purely because if you know how to execute right and you know what to do, um, it's just a matter of just doing it. <laughs> uh, a lot of times people just don't do the work and... Um, yeah, okay, so let me go, go right into these three things, okay? So uh, point number one, right? Point number one is to, you need to be able to solve uh, a problem a lot of people experience, okay? So the, the the model is like either you sell to a lot of people and then you sell at a low price point, right? And it's very uh, mass market, right? And so everybody can buy this product and everybody whom you advertise to is able to give you money in some manner, okay? So that's basically, you solve a problem, number one, that a lot of people experience, Okay, so this can be anything from mass market. You're selling uh, acne cream, you're selling like glasses just like this. Like this is a blue light blocking glasses, right? Who can this company sell to? They, they can sell to anybody who's like using a computer. Who uses a computer? Everybody, <laughs> okay? So that's number one, you solve a problem. A lot of people experience. Okay, number two, you solve a very painful problem, okay? So a lot of the times, right? If, if you don't solve a problem that uh, that is not painful, right? People are just not gonna buy your product. It's like as simple as that. Right, like why? Why should I give you money versus uh, to Amazon versus to whatever? Right, and so to be able to solve those very big problems, you should be able to like go into markets where hey, people are actually experiencing this problem and pain already, and you are just satisfying that demand for the product. Right, it you you be surprised. Okay, I've seen like stores and a lot of data like from a lot of people because I take a lot of sales calls. Right, and the stuff that people sell like is just all over the place. And so you might think, oh, this, this doesn't make money. This doesn't make money, okay? As long as it solves someone's problem, actually it does make money. So you don't worry, don't worry too much about the product per se, okay? Worry about how, can this product, right, actually help solve my customer's problem? And, and if the answer to that question is yes, then I think you should definitely consider just try selling it, right? Okay, so I, I don't like the concept of the winning product per se. I don't like using that term as well because I feel like you are treating business like a lottery and you shouldn't be treating business like a lottery. It's the, the thing that... Um, Warren Buffett always says this, but uh, if you own a business, right, don't think of it as we can sell this business. Think about it as if I'm holding this business for the next 50 years, for example, right, what what will we do, right? You have a lot more uh, long-term perspective on how you're going to operate and run the business, okay? So solve painful problems for people and that, that will convince them enough for them uh, for, for you for them to give you money, okay? Um, that's number two. Okay, and lastly, number three, um, qu this is very, very... Um, not brain dead, but very, very easy to understand, but people don't understand <laughs> the, this part, okay? They always think about ads, 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 okay? Um, number three is actually care about your customers and deliver your promise, okay? So for example, if I'm selling uh, an acne cream, right? My, my, my promise to the customer is that I am going to help you solve your acne problem. Oh, do you, you have puberty, for example, you have a lot of oil on your skin, okay? I'm trying to help you with my product right here solve your acne so that you can have clearer skin, you have uh, no pimples, no acne and stuff, and you look really good. Okay, a lot of the times, right, that the product itself is not, like, it's an inferior product. And inferior products don't sell, like, truth be told, right? They can sell 20, 30K, for example, worth of products, but can they sell 600, 700K? Probably not, right? And so the, the reason why people don't understand that marketing right, is just one, one portion of the entire, like, business life cycle and stuff, right? You need to actually deliver a product that promises um, a result, a transformation, something that actually can deliver a result enough for the customer for it to justify that price point, if that makes sense, okay? So if, if how do I say this? If you're selling acne cream, right? If the problem is very painful, right? Imagine, um, for, for me, I, I experienced this problem last time, right? When I was in secondary school, right? 14, 15 years old, right? Like, it looks very, very bad on your face and stuff. Right? So if they can promise me a result that, hey, I'm going to solve your acne, acne problems, you're not going to look um, like shit all of the, all of the time, right? <laughs> yeah, then I'm able to pay a certain amount for that, right? I'm willing to fork out an amount. But how, how do I say this? If I receive the product and it does not 
solve my acne, I'm going to be pissed, right? I'm never going to buy from this brand again, okay? So if you actually care about, like, start caring about your customers and ensuring that once they buy your product, for example, right, they, they get results with the product, right? They actually uh, get the transformation that you're actually promising to them, right? Business actually becomes a lot, lot easier. And once you scale, right, uh, it's a very big compound effect such that um, it gets easier over time to sell an additional customer. Uh, in accounting, they call it variable cost, essentially, to, to sell a customer, right? So um, if more people, for example, a group of 50 people have bought your product, they feel like they have really, really good results with your product right here. They're very, very happy uh, with the thing that they bought, right? They're going to recommend those people and they're going to give you testimonials, right? You layer on paid traffic, you layer on ads over that. You're able to scale much further because more people see that, uh, that this group of 50 people have really, really good results. And then you just continue the process, repeat forever, and that's how you get to the four or 500K uh, months that you're looking for, okay? So the reason why people don't or unable to do this, right, is because fundamentally, once they start selling, they always start with drop shipping or whatever it is, whatever it is right? They don't reinvest back into uh, product development and ensuring the product is very, very good. So this is what I think uh, we can learn, uh, especially the e-com guys, right? We can learn from the SaaS world. The SaaS world is all about recurring subscription. They're all about how can we continuously provide value for the customer such that they will pay us month over month over month over month, right? They are forced to think that way. They're forced to think long-term because if the product itself is not good, right? People are going to churn. People are going to stop buying from them, okay? So in the, in the same way, think about how the product can deliver more value to the customer and you'll be able to scale to the very, very big numbers uh, that you're looking for as well, okay? So let me just summarize my entire um, speech or whatever it is one time, okay? So the, the, the three things you need to focus on, right? Number one, okay, solve, solve a problem that a lot of people experience, okay? Ask yourself, is your product, whatever you're selling now, uh, is it mass market? Is it like actually helping people? Okay, number two, is it solving a painful problem? Okay, and number three, uh, do you care about your customers? Is your product actually delivering the promise um, that you you've promised to your customers? Okay, once you, once you fix these three things, uh, everything actually is so much easier. Okay, if you need help with your advertising, I'll put the links down in the description below. Check out the VSL if you want to book a call with us, uh, book a call, okay? And um, yeah. I'll see you in the next video.